Get the tools you need to become a free and independent trainer with my Dumbbells of Dollars course at www.dumbbells2dollars.com. Hi, we're doing everybody, Jonathan here, and in this video, and in hopefully five minutes, the original Fit Boss is gonna go over exactly how you should properly bill your clients when it comes to personal training to make sure that you don't have to chase down clients and to make sure that you get paid appropriately. All right, because a lot of trainers make one of two huge mistakes that's costing them money and time, and I'm gonna help you solve that. But before I do, if you have not yet, make sure to click on that link up there and subscribe to my newsletter as I send out articles on how to become more successful in the industry. If you just happen to stumble upon this video, make sure to click on the icon button below and subscribe to this channel as I make videos all the time on how to become more successful. And as always, if you've already subscribed to both my newsletter, and to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your support. And if you find the information in this video helpful, please click on the like button below the video player, write a comment and maybe share it because every time you do those three things, it helps the channel and inspires me to make more videos and it lets me know that I'm on the right track with helping you guys. All right, so let's talk about pricing and let's talk about billing because a lot of trainers are doing it wrong when it comes to personal training. A lot of trainers like to sell their services in blocks of sessions. So somebody signs up with you and then you're going to sell them a six pack or a 12 pack or a 36 pack, 24 pack, 106 pack, whatever the case may be. I've always found that to be problematic for a number of reasons. Number one, if you were to sell block sessions, then you have to constantly resell once the block sessions are over. You have to have that awkward conversation where it's like, hey, you're kind of running low on your sessions. I need you to pay me again all right and then you ha constantly have to get the check get the cash i don't like to talk about money the more that you have to talk about money the more often you give a client an opportunity to cancel and the more it's a strain on the relationship now conversely what can also happen is that clients abuse the sessions most times trainers don't put an end date on their block session so let's say you sell a 12 pack with the assumption that somebody's going to use it over the course of two months they may use two sessions here two sessions a month from now, disappear, and then all of a sudden they want to use all eight sessions the busiest time of the year, and you're like, it's going to be very hard to fit you in. I've also seen situations where a client buys a huge amount of sessions, like they had money at the time, true story, client ran into financial issues, they had fallen off for like six months, and they went back to the trainer and they said, I'm not going to use my sessions, can I get my money back? This was like six months later, true story. These are situations that you want to avoid. And that's why I always recommend subscription billing. So instead of selling packs of sessions, you're going to sell a program. So it's going to be three times a week, two times a week, four times a week, whatever the case may be. Build monthly on the same day. All we do is train. Whenever it comes up to you that you want to cancel, you can cancel. And I have found that to be extremely helpful. But there is a problem if you don't price yourself correctly. All right. So what most trainers do is they say, all right, how many times a week do you want to train? Two times a week, three times a week, four times a week. They're like, the client will say, let's say three times a week. And then the trainer just assumes, okay, three times a week, four weeks in a month. Um, we're going to use easy numbers and we're going to say that each session is $10 a session. So 12 total sessions is $120 a month. I'll train you three times a week, no problem. All right. Now, here's where the issue comes in. So I've pulled up this calendar. All right. This is September 2020. I hate to age my videos, but, you know, in three years, it'll still make sense. So let's say this client signs up for three times a week. Starting September 1st, they want to train Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So they train the first week, one, two, three sessions gone. All right. Second week, uh, four, five, six sessions gone. Third week. Uh, seven, eight, nine sessions gone. Fourth week, 10, 11, 12 sessions gone. So they used up all their 12 sessions. Unfortunately, it's the 24th. But this client said they want to train three times a week, every week. They paid for the 12 sessions. And when the 29th rolls around, they're going to assume that they should still be training with you because they're paying a subscription package. Unfortunately, you priced it incorrectly. And now you're giving away two sessions for free. Or you got to be an ass and go to the client and go like, uh, yeah, you already used your 12 sessions, so I need you to pay me extra money for these two sessions that we're going to do this week before October hits. That's going to look bad on you, all right? You don't want to like have a subscription package and then the client has to pay extra. So why are trainers running into this issue? It's running. They're running into this issue when you assume the whole four weeks in a month thing, all right? So... No month has less than 28 days, 
All right. And there's actually only one month that has four true weeks since February that has 28 days. Every other month has more than it either has uh, 30 days or 31 days. So on average, there are 4.3 weeks in every month, but you're not charging that way. So how do you get around this? What you would do is you would look at your charge for a week of training with you. The client wants to train three times a week. So if we're doing easy numbers, $10 a session, that's $30 a week. You don't want to charge a client weekly. That's for most people going to be too much. Like most people do not have a subscription weekly for anything. So you would take however much you're supposed to make per week, $30 a week, and you would actually multiply it by 4.3. All right. So you would take your $30 for the three sessions times 4.3 and you should be charging 129 instead of 120. All right. So. You don't have to explain all this to the client. All you have to do is say, uh, we're gonna be charged, we're gonna be training three times a week, an average of ten dollars a session. It's a cost of ten dollars per session, and this is gonna be the monthly charge. All right, and then if the client says, wait a minute, it should only be 120 because there are four weeks in a month, then you can explain to them. There are actually 4.3 weeks in every month, and that's why the charge is 129. And over the course of a year, it will average out that every session that they did was only ten dollars now if they leave early then you know somebody loses but in a long-term situation it works and with subscription billing you don't have to chase the client down they're just going to automatically pay you so you don't have to worry about money all you got to do is worry about training so the biggest objection that you might give is well what if the client misses a session then what do i do when you're doing subscription billing you're going to have to have some kind of rollover plan where there's a max number of sessions that the client can roll over into the next month. I would say your rollover number should be the frequency of training sessions per week. So if you're training three times a week, a client has a max of three sessions that they can roll over to the next month. And if they don't use it within the next month, it's gone. If you find that they are somebody that habitually misses sessions, then you should say, listen, you know, let's just take you down to two times a week. It costs a little bit more per session, but at least you won't be losing sessions. And if you can keep track of that, your rollovers, and be honest with the client and let them know, you're probably not gonna do three times a week. Let's move you down to two. You'll be making a little bit more per session because you should be charging more for lower frequency. And then you'll open up spots that you won't have to waste. And then you don't have to worry about making up sessions and throwing off your schedule. Okay, so that's about it. I just wanted to go over pricing strategy because these are not things that personal training certifications cover, the business end of it. And if you're going to be successful, you have to understand how to keep your money right. All right, so when you're putting together your packages and your programs, make sure to consider exactly how much you should be getting paid without making mistakes. All right. All right. So that's about it. I hope you find this video helpful. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, make sure to put them in the comment section. Even if you just want to say, hey, this was a great video uh, because every comment helps me out. Maybe you have a question. I'll be sure to answer because that's what I do with this YouTube channel. I try to answer every comment that I get. Um, of course, if you want more help on how to become more successful in the fitness industry, I definitely recommend that you check out my Dumbbells to Dollars course. There are a number of different courses for trainers that are either looking to start their online program, their own group training business, run fat loss contests or just getting started in a big box gym different courses for wherever you are in your career and then of course if you want to build a website that's going to take care of all the work for you we have our fit boss hosting and you can learn about all of that when you sign up for our newsletter by going to www.dumbnelsonlarge.com but that's about it um i hope you found this video helpful remember if you have any questions or comments put them in the comment section below i'll be back with more videos and as always remember to eat healthy hydrate dry safe stress levels all get rest don't slap anybody I love your clients i love you back i'll see y'all tomorrow or the next day and you have a good one Thank you.